Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of World of Horror. We're taking another attempt at the kick-only challenge. I'm going to try to keep most of the parameters the same, but I've gotten advice in the comments section. Primarily from Machad. I think only from Machad. Which I'm going to try to incorporate into this run. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the game. City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago, are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and adjoining sandy, they will investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. Instead of the seventh curse background, I'm going to go with either like hunted by the cults or scars. That I think scars might be the better of the two, even though I'm going to have like. 10 max in each of my stats. Yeah, I think that'll be a good changer. For the old god, uh. I guess you got the egg. No, I'll do Athiel Ashes. Yes, because it's the easiest one. The Missing Stars. Media reports on various people with seemingly supernatural skills could have any connection with news about the stars disappearing from the night sky. I am going to maintain my rule of not using directly offensive spells. So I heard the police station lets you get cash for knowledge, uh, for XP, and also lowers the combat encounter rate. Which both sound incredibly good for this run, because leveling matters up less. So that is a fixture. Other recommended things are healing consumables and cult items. I think I'm going to go with the vending machine just because I'm playing Haru and Haru needs cigarettes to function. And then we can just get the history club for the cult items. Which maybe is a mistake, I do not know. I think there's no, like, good combo. It's either that or we forsake cigarettes, which is just not tenable. Got an empty bottle. That is fr fan friggin tastic It's gonna help a lot. I'm also gonna try to get the Kana quest. I think it's the most important one. There we go. So this isn't too bad of a... This is actually extremely good of a mystery combination. We only have one locked in boss. I'm going to start with the episode involving eels, for obvious reasons. Eerie episode of evolving eels. While returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around, it's your friends living in the same apartment complex, Kana. That weird dude is back. You know, the one who studies fish? You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. While later, he returns with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious? What weird fish did he bring this time? I just noticed there's like friggin' cars here. What is up with that? Why is there cars in this picture? Because this is just the neighbor's apartment in Kana. I get these two, but... Oh. Um, let's see. I think we can just start right off the bat. Or 
request more police patrols. Awesome. Start off the seaside as well. Hmm. Man, I can still get a combat encounter. I'm kind of wondering if I should mm, smoke cigarettes. I guess I'm not gonna. I'm gonna visit the history club. The rock ring is pretty okay, but it's not okay enough. Gruesome totem is what I wanted. This is gonna be an investment in the future. We're obviously not gonna hold on, uh, not gonna equip it right now. I think we're ready to start. I'm gonna try to go a few investigations without smoking the cigarettes. It might bite me in the ass, I'm not sure. Uh, looking for a warehouse job is probably what we wanna do. Recruiting allies could be cool, but it'd be like a 50-50, I think. I mean, 50-50 for like an ally, which provides a bonus for the entire rest of the game. That could be really, really good. I'm gonna try it. Damn. Okay. It is what it is. Yeah, I'll read the letters. Minus two funds. Actually, minus zero funds. Glad I didn't get any funds. Sweet. Uh, I guess I'll get the jar of blood. Obviously, the cold bath. Minus two stamp. Fuck. Should have equipped the rock ring. That would have saved us. I'm um, gonna get closer. Hell yes. Plus five XP. Thought the police were supposed to be helping out here. What the hell? Uh, I'll calm her down. Minus two reason. Uh, search spot needs a dex check. I think we'd have a one-third chance because of threat level, so I'm just going to escape. It's real god-awful. We're already halfway out of stats. Uh, worst case scenario, we can forget our flesh regrowth spell because it's a real tainted fruit to be drinking from. Obviously, I'd rather have the option available. We're going to need two more funds if we want, uh, what you call it, to be able to buy more cigarettes. Uh, I'm going to take a detour. <laughs> Don't want an injury. Ken has been missing since yesterday. You decide to check out the neighbor's apartments yourself. So you go to the bedroom, always go to the bedroom, puncture that eyeball, delicious. Come to me, wormies. Yeah, we're all set up. I don't know if you need to, like, periodically visit the police station to lower the encounter rate. Uh, I think it might just be set, but I'm not sure. It might be a once per mystery thing. You rush to the hospital with Kana, getting a lot of attention from horrified people. Your friend is taken immediately to the operating theater, and you collapse on a chair in the waiting area. Wake up, dude. You've been sleeping for over three hours. You groggily open your eyes. Your friend, Kana, is wearing an eye patch. Not so pretty anymore, eh? I couldn't exactly tell the doctors the truth about what happened, and I'm pretty sure I won't be winking with my left eye anytime soon. But thanks for saving my life. You still process the events of the previous night. Corpse-eating eels that lay their eggs and eyes. Sitting with your friend Kana before your apartment building, you watch the police officers emptying your neighbor's place. Got riots. <laughs> That's wacky. Gonna drink the bath water. Take the new bath. Refill the bath water. Get extra reason. With Scars and Kana, we're gonna have minus two damage on all enemy attacks. Which is pretty good. Uh, 
Uh, I think I'll go for the horrible history of household hell. So we need to get the out of town mysteries out of the way first. Because uh, they're most influenced by town events. Horrible history of household hell. There are many old mansions around this town. Boop 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 Manor is one of them. Supposedly haunted by the family of four, who disappeared without a trace one summer. But is it the only tragic events that took place there? Good question. I have no idea. Got a free mask. It's the, uh... It's a pretty okay one. We are low on reason. So it is nice. Uh, I'm gonna confront the stranger, because if we fail the check, it's just stamina lost, and we have stamina's request. Minus one stamina. We're really failing all of the friggin' <laughs> checks. It's so annoying. What the hell? Uh-oh, uh, I don't have my cigarettes going. Oh, this guy's doing one stamina damage? Hmm. Can we actually kill this guy? Let's see. So we're doing two damage, so we need to hit this friggin' bastard. Tw Eleven times. We can do three rounds. Uh, so after one, two, three, four rounds, we will have kicked... 12 times. Obviously, statistically speaking, we're not going to hit 100% of our attacks. And we'd be losing 4 stamina, which would take 2 rests. So it's just mathematically not worth. I think I need to start pumping the cigarettes. I guess I'll do that now. Uh, we might as well get some more cigarettes as well. The detective thanks you for the information, hands you the prize. That's cool, he's also got an eye patch. God, this is so expensive. Okay. Well, it's better than losing Doom, I guess. Get some extra cigarettes. Now we're all set. The manor's old doom level? Oh, that's so eight. Okay, whatever. First things first, I've got to go to the beach. Got a cool statue. Uh, I think we probably should prepare, but that is an extra 5% doom. We're probably going to have enough experience points to just purchase more cigarettes. So I think I won't go for it. Uh, another question, should we rest? Um, technically speaking, it only takes three bad events to friggin' send us, if they all target reason. There's not m that many events in the mansion that target reason. That's still a possibility. If we don't rest, though, we're going to get bonus stats. Also, uh, I can smoke a cigarette, so we should be fine. Uh, I'll check out sewing machine. Got a cool spell. Unearthly suture. Is not the worst. Oh, it's this fucking bastard-ass ghost. So I could kick four times, doing two guaranteed damage, so two, four, six, eight. Uh, so it would take three rounds, we'd lose two all. Don't think the room ghost gives much in terms of experience, but uh, we're kind of doom-maxing. I want the extra doom. I'd rather rest later. Plus it's hard to resist the allure of punching ghost to death. Now, it is a little bit greedy, uh, for this very reason. We've got three reason in the tank. That's the thing. Oh! Oh, we can get access to storage? Awesome. Uh, 444 four, four hertz. Probably not gonna do that. I would say I'm allowed to equip a weapon, I just can't use it. 
because uh, it gives us like Jesus. It gives us the ability to run easier. You aren't sure what to expect. The sturdy door to the study opens the creek. The dark, dusty room is empty, but something feels wrong. A faint draft, perhaps? I move the rotten carpet aside to reveal a secret passageway cut directly into the cliff rock. Following a strange song, you discover a hidden passage that leads you to an underground chamber connected to the sea. You can't find the source of the sounds, but then it hits you. The acoustics of this place make the waves sound like the most beautiful serenade. Mesmerized, you step closer to the stone altar at the end of the room. Plus one, plus one. Unholy chants coming from the caves connected with the mansion must have driven the family insane. With no connection to the outside world, they fed on what they had, themselves. However, this doesn't explain the fresh corpses and wet tracks around the altar. We also got three quarters of the experience necessary for a cigarette pack, which is nice. Gonna drink the bottled water. Refill the bottle of water, regain some extra reason. <laughs> We're about 50% on our stats, which is not great. Uh, I kind of want to go for the bulletin before the freaky feature. Because uh, the freaky feature is going to raise the threat level of the forest. The only issue is there's a small chance of it really backfiring. But whatever. I'm going to believe in the RNG. As always, this is a super long text. I've read it a thousand times. I don't want to read it again. It talks about bulletin board software. Uh, which is what it is. I used to go to forums when I was a kid. That was the like era of the internet that I was in. Uh, this seems kind of like a dog shit proposition. If we resist, we're just going to lose stats for like a 50% chance, though. It's a problem. I guess I'll enter. Fuck me. Oh, it's not even 50% chance. Okay, um, the pyramid is a strength check. Gives a bunch of XP. I think I'm going to do it. Okay, we got a broken nose. Which is pretty bad. It's not like the worst. The frostbite is the one that's actually the pain in the ass. Uh, guess I'll guess I'll get some fun dolies so I can go to the hospital. I right, get rid of this frostbite. Hasty aid, you're actually a piece of shit. Hasty- fuck, fuck you! Un- oh, I should've stole the pills. Whatever, I'm gonna be visiting the hospital again this run. Don't worry. That's actually so ass. Okay, we're fighting the glued corpse. Got an 80% chance to hit. With the nicotine rush, we can get four not guaranteed kicks. Or alternatively, two and a half guaranteed kicks. Two guaranteed kicks and one 90%. Uh, let's do some quick math. So this is six plus three times 0.8, which I'm just going to say is 2.5 to make things real simple. Which is a very conservative estimate. That'd be uh, 8.5. Then if we were to do, actually, it'd be a, it'd be like eight point nine or eight point eight. So then four kicks times point eight, it's twelve times point eight equals nine point six. So that is more damage on average. I guess I'll go for it. All right, got broken jaw and cut arm sinew. Are you actually fucking getting me? Oh, fuck. That's so annoying. Uh, 
Okay. We desperate struggle. We can do eight damage guaranteed. Jesus. Whatever. Oh, you're actually fucking kidding me. I missed two 80% chances. Okay, we could desperate struggle and then hope we get three kicks. Okay, whatever. Please, Iron Jesus. That is what I'm talking about. What a pain in the ass. Unbelievable. God, what the fuck are we gonna do? We need more funds. Oh, okay. Oh, you complain about police patrols to... Okay, that's weird. Alright, I've got fun dolies. <laughs> we can go back to the hospital. Such a piece of shit. I can't believe it. Stable condition. Awesome. I'm stealing some painkillers. How dare this guy. We also... Want to treat the a hasty aid? Are you serious? Oh, okay. I'm gonna rest once and twice. I think I want to complain about the police patrols to get more combats going because I think we're actually pretty good at combat. And the events have been kicking our fucking ass. Oh, sweet. Survivor's Guild. Amazing. I'm gonna visit the forest. I'm gonna search the tent because it gives funds if we succeed. Minus two stamina. No, don't you dare. Oh, okay, thank you. We should get the... Next time I get a Hermit Ally, I want to see what this event does. I'm gonna tap into his power, I guess. It's too risky as stamina loss, and like, we have a water bottle, but come on. Plus 2% doom. Actually horrendous. I'm a fucking moron. I'm so dumb, why didn't I fucking... No! Forgot to smoke cigarettes. Oh, okay. I'm fucking retarded. Holy fuck. At least it's the easy combat. Uh, we can get three kicks around, which is six damage. Six times three is 18. So we'd get absolutely ass blasted by this enemy. I'm so upset with myself. This is bullshit. I'm losing it. Why did I do this? Oh, you can't even run? Why can't you run from Gossip Junkie? What the hell? Well, three kicks. It's gotta be better than two kicks. I punch and kick the Gossip Junkie. Junkie spreads a nasty rumor about me. It's very horrible. Not cool behavior. Ritual Mask protects me from the attack. That's cool, because I fucking missed. Can I dodge? No, I cannot dodge. No matter what, it's going to take two more turns, so I might as well just take the safe route. Okay. And she's dead. It's absolutely horrendous. I'm so low on reason. And the hospital's friggin' Doom Max, too. Oof! Okay, um... I mean, I can smoke the cigarettes now. Worst case scenario... I could... forget a spell... and smoke... Uh, 
and with the smoke cigarettes, it won't be possible for me to die instantly reason loss. I'm gonna punch him. It's minus one reason. You let out a rumbling yell, turning and driving your fist into empty air. There's nobody there. He's gone. Your wild swing sends you stumbling confused. All this shit is really starting to get you, but even if you ran into one of the real guys, they'd probably hate your guts just as much. Minus one reason. Not good. Plus 4% doom. Absolutely trash. What the hell? Um... So Charisma check, minus stamina guaranteed, strength, or else you get minus wound. I mean, get a wound. I mean, I'm confident in my strength. Plus injury. Tiny cuts. Ha ha ha. You know, that's better than losing stamina. Okay. Uh, do you serve the old ones? Pretty not good events. We either lose a bunch of reason, we're probably going to be forced to work at a spell, or alternatively we say yes we get 10% doom but two allies. I mean we have the gruesome totem to compensate a little bit and the allies could be helpful. There's a Fujiko, would be really awesome. I'm pretty sure there's the ranger who's also awesome. We could visit the monument, because we haven't done that yet. We're on Mystery 3, and we're already 60% doomed, though. But in theory, if we have rest to regain reason, we're also going to be pretty shit. I think we have to say yes. I did get Fujiko. Amazing. And a cheetah. It's pretty okay. As well. He's, he's there. He's helping. Um, kind of think we have to rest. We're so low on stats. I mean, so high on Doom. Oh, uh, we gotta do it. Father Yusuke, thank you very much. Me and my three friends help lift boxes. As soon as you arrive home, you dial the number and put the handset onto the modem. Your heart pounds as the computer fans exhale. The system hums. You hear a brief dial tone, then it finally connects. Welcome home. Do you like it? Yes. I'm glad. Take your phone off the modem and put it to your ear. Recall the note you found. Could this be the voice of humanity you read about? Bracing yourself, you slowly put the phone to your ear. You don't hear words or a voice. You soon understand that they don't need those. It's difficult, but you manage to keep track of which thoughts are yours and which are theirs. Everyone is here now. We've escaped everything that held us back in life. We don't have any more burdens. You can escape with us. This is the purest form of existence, a paradise of connection. Everyone deserves that. We will bring all of humanity together. Can't save any everyone. Explain the imminent arrival of the old god. With its limitations, the bulletin could never hope to gather humanity in time. Not to mention how many people are unable to access computer. As it is, convincing all of humanity to die is impossible. Oh, then we'll have to wait. It's disappointing, but that's alright. When computers advance and everyone can be connected, we'll come back for you. It's a promise, okay? The noise on the other end of the line suddenly cuts out completely. Still reeling from the mental assault, you find yourself staggering towards the futon. You collapse into it and sleep soon takes you. Sleep soon <laughs> takes you. You're awakened by the sound of the phone ringing. After what just happened, you hesitate to answer. You warily grab the handset. When you put the phone to your ear, you hear the trembling voice of the girl you met in the village. I... I can't thank you enough. It was in my head, and I... I nearly... She bursts into tears, thanking you over and over. You smile, relieved. You later learn that the deaths have come to a sudden and complete halt. But even still, its promise lingers in your mind. How long do you have until it comes back for you? You smother the thought, for now it's finished. Bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin, ending a... 
Got the store closed. Literally does not affect us. We couldn't go to the store anyways. Get the water bottle. Take the bathola. Refill the bottle. Oh, that's kind of... We're only on Mystery 3. What the hell? Uh, I guess I'll get extra reason. Got two mysteries left. We've got the Chilling Chronicle of Crimson Cape. That's a pretty good one. I'm going to go for the Freaky Feature Found Footage first. Because I think no matter what, Akamanzo is going to be scaled anyways. So you might as well do it last. We could maybe even do a level up. We try to get core strength. Freaky Feature Found Footage. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore and legends of the nearby forest. Now, on the first anniversary of the event, a suspicious man has started asking questions. He claims to be a private investigator hired by the parents of the students. Except the parents of your friends didn't hire him. Who is he, and what did the students discover out there? <laughs> Good question. Uh, we do have to remember that we have the gruesome totem in the tank. And we're going to be fighting Akamanto, uh, who will give us another minus 10% doom. The forest is only threat level 1 for us, so at the very least we can't easily get doom screwed. Got the forgotten specimen. We're doing 4 damage per kick now. I think no matter what, 4 kicks is the best. Just mathematically. We smash the jar and get a chicken nugget. That's very good. I could sell it for more cigarettes. <laughs> Actually, I should probably hold on to it. I could use the XP for cigarettes. Hmm. I spend the night here, plus one reason. Amazing. Uh, I'm going to visit the mansion twice. It's a bad time to be out of cash. Thank you, Jarman. So now we can visit the police station and then visit the vending machine. I think we'll still have XP. Hmm, no. Nah, because I want... I don't want to get Charmians twice. Oh, we got a brick. And cigarettes. Amazing. Alright, um... I guess I'll put the empty bottle and the forest note into the thing. Grab the cigarettes and the brick. Um... We have painkiller and we have flesh regrowth, so I think I will deposit the lump of flesh. Just so I can have the gruesome totem in the back pocket. Uh, in case shit goes horrendously wrong in the forest somehow. Oh no, it's the lumpy officer. He's got a really punchable head, not gonna lie. Is he supposed to look like a testicle? Not sure. I think we might be throwing the brick at him. He is doing two stamina damage. We could... Actually, hold on. I think this is probably better because we have like a little extra spice with the prep. He tries to grab me. We got coughing blood, which is pretty not great. He also reaches for his gun, which is very not great. But I just destroy him. I bash his lumpy face in. So now he double doesn't have face. I'm stupid! I didn't go to the mansion twice! No! Oh my god. We're fighting this fucking joker. <laughs> this is so ass.
Okay, well, we, we just got 2% doom from them. Oh my god. I really need to pay more attention. I don't know what's going on with my friggin' brain. Uh, if we reveal ourselves, we'd have a better chance, but we'd lose stamina if we failed, so I'm gonna run and just take the injury. Oh! oh that's amazing. <laughs> that was a 1 in 6 chance. Don't be combat. Thank you very much. Plus 5 experience points. Gonna smoke some cigarettes. Got nicotine rush. Amazing. I think I can level up. I want to level up. I want core strength. We did not get core strength. Irizumi is also good. Fighting ribcage woman. She's pretty tough. I do not want to run from the combat encounter, as per usual. Guess I'll take the painkillers now. Um, I probably want to maintain the brick for when, uh, what's his face, Akamanto. Oh, it would have killed her, but there's there's no way to predict that I would hit all four. Oh my god. Praise be R and Jesus. The rumored witch house seems empty. In the basement, however, you find a camera pointed at the large hole in the ground. On the table next to the camera, you see three cassettes, each titled after one of the missing friends. Then you hear a curious sound coming from the hole. I guess I'll take Peeky Peek. You kneel down and lean forward to see what's inside the hole. It takes a while to process what you're looking at. It's a gigantic eye staring right at you. Hypnotized, you continue to lean in, feeling weaker and weaker as the gargantuan beast lures you in. That's not what I see, but that's neither here nor there. At the very last moments, the suspicious tall man grabs you by the collar, he explains he's part of a cult protecting the house and the mysterious entity below it. You've got a bigger purpose than to die here, he says before knocking you out. You wake up a few hours later in a bus heading back to your town. R.I.P. Missed out on 15 experience points. Also got fetid fumes, which is pretty bad. But not the worst considering our situation. Now, very important, always remember the bottle. Never forget the bottle. I may be have forgotten to go to the mansion twice, but I did not forget the bottle. Got the Chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. A new game is spreading amongst your friends. A dare to stay in the unused school restroom after classes. A dare to meet Akamanto. Was originally harmless fun has turned deadly. The body of a boy was found last week. The school principal has banned the game, but that has only made it more popular. Akamanto must be stopped before another kid is killed. Here's a question. Do we actually want to go to the monuments to try to not need the gruesome totem? Like, we could equip it. We'd be down three max reason, but we'd also be down three current reason because our current reason would go down with it. Which is the only reason why I kind of don't want to do it. I mean, we've got reason in the tank. We don't have a light source, so we're losing up to six reason during the lighthouse is the thing. And if we went to the monument twice, we might be able to save ourselves from that fate. But it would really suck if we got the friggin' <laughs> stamina loss. Whatever, it's a two-thirds chance payoff. I'm going for it. Amazing. That is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna take a sippy sip of the bath water. And I guess I'll visit the police station to get a little bit of fun dolies. There's no doom cost, I think, so no reason to overjuice. Throttle level increases, pretty awful. Um, I'm confident I can take a jog around the block. Plus one reason. Completely worthless. I mean, it's better than take a nap. Because taking the nap gives uh, doom. 
Leave it for later is stamina loss, so I'm gonna check it out, even though I'm almost guaranteed to fail. Minus two reason. Feels bad, man. Plus three percent doom, that's horrible. Uh, I just realized something. Um, <laughs> we can't equip both Akamanto's Mask and the Gruesome Totem. So we actually do need to solve our doom problem pretty fucking badly. <laughs> oh no. Alright, police station. I'm just gonna get funds now. We need to visit the monument again. And again. Alright, if we equip the totem, it would matter less now. We're pretty, pretty down on Doom now. Blood Place Sandalets, minus one reason. Take her home is minus two stamina. I'll take the stamina loss. It will allow me to buy more cigarettes, potentially. We're now facing Akamanto, so... Lump of Flesh, probably necessary. Uh, we could get a Horrendous Curse. Uh, we're a little bit low on stamina. Too, because... I mean, we could cast Flesh for Growth. We'd be down to 8 max stamina. Which is pretty horrible. But, you know what? That's fine by me. Is this even enough to fight Akamanto? I mean, with the Lump of Flesh it is. And we'll be down to 81% Doom, which is enough to go through the Lighthouse, probably even with Resting. I'm just debating whether or not I should go to the Monument once more, but if I go to the Monument and it sucks Stamina, that's bad. If I go to the Monument and it sucks Reason, that's bad. Uh, only the Funds would make sense. Additionally, um... Ah, oh, we might not have enough cigarettes for the lighthouse. And if we fight Takashi, that could be pretty bad. So part of me wants to go to the vending machine. Now, so that I can maintain my nicotine rush. So I imagine we're going to be throwing shit at Akamanto. But that is going to be another 2% doom. Oh. I think no matter what, we can go to the monument, and just, if it gives us a bad result, then that's fine. Yeah, that's not tenable. Actually, is that tenable? Minus four reason, but we'd get two back. I think it might actually be minus three reason. Eh, nah. Fuck you, Outer Entity. Okay, with that being the case, I think we just have to risk it in the lighthouse. Okay, please don't give me a bad event. Um, that was pretty bad. Uh, so checking the plaques and trophies is a luck check or else minus reason. Akamanto does all damage, so being low on reason is not good. Uh, even if it's, it would be minus two to our reason, I think. So we could forget the two spells. In general, it's just not great. If we break the window to grab it, uh, that might be a stamina loss, but whatever. We're gonna have to chicken nugget up, but it's whatever. It just has to be done. There's no, nothing else to say, really. You wait in the stall, trying to be as quiet as possible. Suddenly, squish, squeak. The sound of rubber boots and an unknown liquid dripping on the tile. Squish, squeak. You can see the top of his head. He's taller than any man you've seen. Squish, squeak. The door slowly opens. A masked man in a red coat, clearly too tall. How much stamina does I give? Five? I guess I'll do that now. Holes. Oh, it's minus... Oh, okay. I made a mistake. Give me the red special. Damn you, Akamanto. I'm so fucking dumb. Fuck. I should have remembered. We have eight max stamina. Okay, first things first. Throw that brick. Five damage. I'm very tempted to throw the bottle too, but... I'll save on it. 
the level up does give us a better brace kick combo, which is nice. As long as we don't get turbo unlucky, we should win. Alright. We have one HP remaining. So two times two is four, plus two is six. I think he's dead. Boom. <laughs> oh yeah, the holes curse. Oh, oh fuck. Alright, uh this sucks so much. Ugh. I have six max stamina. Oh. Blood flowing from wounds in the tall man's red coat make it look like the man was slowly melting. You hear faint cackling coming from behind the mask and faint, and when you wake up, he's gone. Somehow you know he'll be in another stall, another school, another city, continuing the horror. Got freaky flood. I'm so happy it's not time skip. Very good. And we could take the bathola, get the extra stamina. Um, technically we can forget these two spells and have seven reason. I'm just trying to think. If we if we get the extra reason. And we could just use Unearthly Suture over and over. That sounds like a horrible idea. No, whatever. You might have to rest a bit in the lighthouse. We've got all the keys, at least. If we rest once, we'll be in a good shape. I really should have paid attention to what is in the lighthouse. So we're going to get five rooms. I think we can rest once. Six is our maximum stamina. So that's important to remember. We can forget unearthly sutures. We effectively had seven reason. So we're good. This is as good as it gets. I grabbed the rods and shocked myself. Try reason with the girl. She commits honorable seppuku. I hydrate myself and then stick my hand into the knife's hole. Boom, it's Takashi Sand. Who would have thunk it? Alright, first things first. Take my fucking bottle. And the shitty totem. Four damage. Completely worthless. I paid 4% doom for that totem. Uh, I think we just have to kick. I mean, we could Desperate Struggle and get three kicks. Okay, yeah, sure, if I hit all three, I'll kill. Actually based. <laughs> Feels good, man. We got Nicotine Withdrawal just in time. Uh, enemy we fought is the se second one. I think that was the Room Ghost. Yep. Dark clouds swirl around the lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? Absolutely fantastic. As the unnatural fog so he lifts, you're relieved and collapse on the floor. The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You've managed to stop the ritual awakening of the eldritch old god, but what's done is done. It will stir in its slumber again and again until the stars are right again. Congratulations, you are safe for now at 92% doom or 102% without the mask. Simple as. I mean, we were carried a bit by the scars and canna. I think those are very, very powerful to have in uh, any Harbinger of Doom run, or really any run, because it basically trivialized most of the combat. The police strategy also was good. Uh, I'm very thankful I got that advice. It's, it, I think its main utility was making it where I could pick anything other than the Seventh Curse. 
uh, which is a very good utility. There's no way we could do any iteration of this challenge without uh, cigarettes because Haru is so slow. Maybe if we were playing a different character, uh, that would be different. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm pretty happy to get this challenge under my belt. It's very close in spite of me just setting it up as good as possible, I will say. So, anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more World of Horror. Goodbye!